stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in agate Peru That our flag was still there. Oh, satyrs and star spangled banner, yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. We're out here in Washington, D.C. at the uh, Law Enforcement Memorial Week. Uh, I'm Frank Ray, and I'm here with uh, Jeff Golko, who works with me on my team, all things fray related. Uh, but there are so many names on this wall. I believe it's like 27,700 and some, which is just an obscene number, but that's the amount of people that have laid down their lives in the line of duty. And so the amount of people that pour their support uh, and show uh, just how much they value these these people in their communities is, is so humbling. It's such an incredible experience. Right now, we're going to go and visit one of those names right now, Sergeant James Noyes. Sergeant James Noyes, um, who is a just a, small world uh, yeah, family of, friend, family probably. friend, one of my dad's best friends, uncle. Yeah. Just in talking to him yesterday and telling him when I was in D.C., he said, "You're not going to believe this, but my, my uncle's name is actually engraved in that wall." So we're going to go pay a visit to uh, his section of the wall. You know, it's it's so crazy how I mentioned that one time, like how many people drive by, Don't even walk by and is. have no idea what the memorial even is even there and uh, and what it signifies, right. you know? Well, and even more just amazing, just how many names. I mean, it spans this entire, it's, it's span, it spans these entire grounds here. It's massive, unfortunately. Yeah. One of my favorite things are the engravings the beneath the Leos out here. Like in Valor, there is hope. Yep. You know what I mean? Like that's, look at this. Down to number 39. Yeah. And this is the most heartbreaking yeah. thing. We're, We're in the badge of the attack. Spouses. Oh, I see you. Kids. I mean... They've all lost somebody here. Right, every single person sitting here. It gives you chills. <laughs> you start to, you know, pull back tears. But like you said, I can't imagine being one of these like small kids. Yeah. It's, uh, here we go. James Noyes. Did you find it? Yeah. Noise. Yeah, Sergeant so, Noise. Sergeant James Noyes. So, what, what are you doing here now, Jeff? So you can etch. explain yeah, so what you're doing here. here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to etch his name from here and then bring it home to uh, his family so they can have it. Wow. Yeah. So what he's doing now is, is etching the name on this piece of paper that you can actually take back to the family so that they have something from the wall. You know, obviously the, the remembrance is there, but something that they can have, something tangible, and that you'd be surprised how much of a difference that makes in somebody's, in, when they're coping with, with grief. James, James S. Noise. I'd be imagine you could write down the panel, the line, yep. and the family can have family a piece of the wall. Exactly. And 
it's almost haunting in a very, in the most respectful way. You can you can almost feel the remembrance, right? Uh, there are there are spouses here, there are children, uh, people that have lost loved ones uh, in the line of duty, and and they're they're here to not only pay their respects but to remember oh, mom or to remember dad, and it's just it's, it's heartbreaking.